Good evening. It's Saturday the 15th of January and it's time for the news on RIC2. Health authorities in Cyprus have reminded that as of Monday, the release of people who have tested positive to COVID-19 will be automatic after 10 days of self-isolation from the day of the first positive test and that the release will be carried out without the final approval of their personal physician. However, they should continue informing their personal physician about developments so that sick leaves could be issued if necessary. Self-isolation could be extended if symptoms persist. Affected individuals will be receiving an SMS on their mobile phone the night before their release. The Health Ministry announced no deaths from COVID-19 yesterday, during which a total of 3,042 new infections have been detected, along with 257 hospitalizations. A total of 122,217 rapid and PCR tests island-wide were carried out. The positivity rate stands at 2.49%. At the same time, the death toll remained at 672, with 422 being men and 250 women. The median age is 76 years. Government spokesman Marios Belaganos has dismissed a statement by a former U.S. diplomat that the East Med pipeline will not be completed because it is a very expensive and complex project without economic viability. Former U.S. Special Envoy and Coordinator for International Energy Affairs Amos Hochstein was speaking about the pipeline on a documentary on Turkish TV under the title The Pipe Dream. He said that, since 2016, no East Med pipeline economic feasibility study has been presented and that the European Union had never adopted the plan, despite some ministers speaking about the EU's support. However, Belagano said the subsea pipeline, for which Cyprus, Greece and Israel signed a deal in January 2020 to carry natural gas from the eastern Mediterranean's rapidly developing gas fields to Europe, is very much alive. And that the EU's will is still there. That's why he added studies are underway with the bloc budgeting substantial money towards that. Residents of Khloragaz village, where thousands of Syrian refugees and asylum seekers live in ghetto-like conditions, have protested once again this morning. Holding banners saying put Cypriots first and no more ghettos, they called for the fast relocation of a number of Syrians, whom they describe as troublemakers. They also described the situation in the Bafos district village as very problematic for the past three years, with residents feeling very insecure. An underwater volcano off Tonga has erupted, triggering a tsunami warning for several South Pacific Island nations, with footage on social media showing waves crashing into homes. Tsunami waves were observed in Tonga's capital and the capital of American Samoa. No tsunami threat had been issued to the Australian mainland, islands or territories. Tsunami waves of 2.7 feet were observed by gauges at the Tongan capital of Nuku'alofa and waves of 2 feet at Pago Pago, the capital of American Samoa. The US-based monitor later cancelled warnings for the US territory of American Samoa and Hawaii, but said the tsunami remained a threat for parts of the Pacific nearer the volcano. And now a look at tomorrow's weather. After a cloudy start, the sun returns all across Cyprus, but it's going to be breezy and cooler. Winds will be moderate at first, force 4, turning strong by early afternoon, force 5 to 6. The sea will be moderate to rough. Temperatures will rise to 10 Celsius inland, 12 in coastal areas and 0 in the mountains. That's all for today. Join us tomorrow again for more news in English. Have a very good evening.